Hello designers, it is Safiria Lovery with Safiria's by Design. I'm here going to make a spring basket for my eight-year-old son. I chose the color of green. I felt like green would be very well um, suited for springtime. Now, I'm not calling this the Easter basket because I don't want to take away anything from the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I don't really do the Easter bunnies or Easter eggs or anything like that. So I'm doing a spring basket for my son. I want him to also um, feel special uh, around this time and also let him know I'm thinking of him. All of the items that you see pictured here did in fact come from the Dollar Tree and I chose to kind of keep with all of the kind of green colors so even my snacks and toys are all kind of in this greenish kind of color. I'm going to go in and sort everything out and place it in a smaller version looks like a laundry basket also available at the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna try to fit everything in there and wrap it up just so and present it to my son for the springtime so if you'd like to see how it turns out then please keep on watching okay so I went through and kind of organized the items into three different categories um, so I have snacks and little goodies, little treats that I picked up. So any type of food items, I have them sorted over here in this particular section of the table. Then I have like school related or stationary type products. I have them kind of over in this area of the table. And then like his toys and different little doodads and stuff for him to have fun with, I have them sorted over here on the left side of the table. So I'm gonna go through and take most of the items out of the packaging. It's very important for me to kind of um, utilize the space that I have in the basket, work with it as best. And so a lot of this product packaging is very big and bulky. So I'm gonna take those items out. Also the product packaging does kind of conflict with the color scheme that I'm going for. So I'm gonna remove most of the items from their packaging. Something like this has no reason to really be in a plastic package. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. For this container of magnets, since they're just so small, I think I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of snip along the top part of this so that that blue part is not showing, but I'm going to leave these in the packaging. So already with the removal of all the product packaging, the um, contents of the basket are looking a lot more concise and they're a lot more coordinated together as far as the colors. I also have a better feeling about all of the items being able to fit into the basket. So the first thing that I like to do is to put some of the taller and heavier items in the back of the basket. So I think I'm going to start with this container. And it may end up being later on that I put a lot of his um, school supplies inside of this container. But for now, I'm just going to set it in there like this. Then I'm going to go in with his book. So I got him this cute little composition notebook with the green background and a little panda bear. I thought that was cute and masculine. So I'm going to put that in the basket. I also got him this little hands-on nature project book, also in a green color. And I also got him this little green pencil pouch that I'm going to put in. So this is how the basket is looking so far, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put in some of his snacks. So already the basket is looking a tad bit crowded, but I do have faith that all of the items are going to fit in. It's just a matter of positioning. So I think with this bag of blow pops, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out of the packaging and just put them inside of the basket loose. So next I'm going to go ahead and place some of these type items in towards the back of the basket. So these taller kind of skinnier items I'm gonna place in. So here are the items that I have left to put in the basket and already I'm starting to realize that it's going to be best for me to place the stationary items inside of that green box that is already in the basket so that I can maximize the rest of this space down in here to put the other items. So I have my little green stationary box here and I think I'm just going to open it up and put all of his school related or stationary type items in. There's a piece of tape on this compass. I'll take that off. I'm going to put in his little pencil sharpener. Put in the little froggy glue sticks. So cute. And we also have some green colored glue. Thought that would be a nice addition. Let me put that in. 
So these items are inside of the box and the color of the basket is not compromised. So I went ahead and took those glue sticks out of their packaging and just put them down in there. I'm gonna stuff these rolling dice down in there. Got this little googly eyed fellow. I wanna put him kind of close to the front. I think I'm gonna put this car sort of in the middle. So right now it's definitely just a matter of filling in the little empty spaces. So I'm just gonna kind of go in with the smaller items to try to fill in the empty spaces. So everything did fit in the basket per se. The only thing that's kind of annoying me is this bag of potato chips. It's just kind of cumbersome and in the way. I'm gonna to try to stuff it down further into the basket without crushing the chips. I think I'm just gonna take some packing tape and just kind of um, tape this portion of the bag down so that some of the other items can show. Okay, so I was able to take some tape and tape that bag down. And so I think finally what I'm gonna do is take some suckers and just kind of fill them in randomly around the basket. So I will just give you a final little look at the basket before I take some cellophane wrap and wrap it up. Lots of goodies stuffed down in there. And I like that this is a unique and original basket. Not gonna find it in a store and it has that personal touch that you can cater it to whatever your kids like and whatever they're into. So I got my son's basket wrapped in the cellophane and I had to kind of wrap it a little at a diagonal because of the tall items inside of the basket. I just added a little St. Patty's bow. Nobody's going to know that that's a St. Patty's themed bow uh, to the top of it. I didn't want to add too much to the basket. I'm going to also add one of these gold glittery letters for his first initial. His name is Durango, so I'm going to put a D on the front of the basket. Okay, so I just took and added the little letter D. And for the final touch, I just kind of went in and added a little gift bowl towards the top of it as well to kind of try to hide the fact that this basket is wrapped at a diagonal. Just give you a few last little look at, looks at the basket. I think it turned out pretty good. It's pretty simple. I like the fact that I was able to get everything from the Dollar Tree and I don't mind paying what I paid for it when I compared this basket to all of the other baskets in the store that they're selling right now. I feel like this one is more personally tailored to my son. I want to take this time to say thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to stay tuned for more content.